This is Robert, and I have a brand new feature that I want to uh, demo to everybody, and I think you'll like it. Uh, the credit for this feature goes to Todd, and he is a teacher in Chicago, Illinois, at Augustus H. Burley Elementary School. So he sent me an email, and I took a look at it this morning, uh, and he says, hey, you know, he, he said he likes the extension a lot, which, of course, makes me happy. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to help people no matter what. Don't worry about that. But uh, he, he sent me an extension. He sent me an email. He says, hey, I, I like the extension a lot. And he had this idea. He says, look, that um, toolbar at the bottom of the Google Meet, it really takes up a lot of space on a laptop. So you can't, only, you can't have that many breakouts going. So he says he has like nine breakouts. And uh, if you can get rid of that bar at the bottom, he could see more and just be a lot easier for him to run his classes. So I, I, um, I like that idea. I liked it a lot. And so I did a, an experiment this morning and I took a look at it and I said, yeah, it can be done. And then I just said, well, knock it out. Just go ahead and do it. So, so I knocked it out this morning. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and demo it to you and show you how this thing works. Now, this is going to be for version 17.2. Now, today is uh, December the 5th. So I uploaded yesterday 17.1. Uh, just some really minor fixes. Um, uh, one of them was the auto enter for outside participants. And another uh, feature was the remove participants. Now, just to let you guys know what's going on, uh, the extensions they work on top of, they sit on top of the Google Meet. So whenever Google Meet uh, uh, changes their code and like maybe a pop-up changes the order, changes something like that, then the extension will need to change as well. So uh, if you could let me know that, hey, something broke here, then I can go ahead and fix it. Usually it's just really easy to fix, but I just need to, you know, stay on top of it. That's all. So that's what the fix was for yesterday. Also, I put in a small little feature um, change, which I hope, I hope, will uh, fix the audio bleeding between different rooms. I do want to share with you another idea, an idea um, that um, a teacher shared with me. And he said that uh, what he found was he just closed down uh, the window for the main room. You can open it up again, but he just closed it down. And for him, that solved the audio bleed problem. But anyway, uh, the focus of this video is on the... Um, this new feature to remove the bar at the bottom of the meat. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and I'll run it right now. I'll open up some uh, rooms. So we all know what we're talking about. We're all on the same page. Let me skinny this down a little bit. All right, so this is what Todd was saying. He says, hey, look, uh, this blue bar, can we get, uh, can we hide it when we want to hide it and show it when we want to show it? Now, this is, you know, he said, you know, this is kind of strange. Like sometimes it shows up, some, sometimes it will auto hide on itself. Yeah, and uh, sometimes it won't. And it's just a little bit random that way. Uh, I think most of the times it will auto hide, but sometimes it won't. Uh, but anyway, with this, you could you could definitely hide it and unhide it. So here we go. Um, the the new button is right here at the top, and I'll just move this thing over here. Uh, so it's this one right here, and I put a toolbar on it, just a tooltip on it, so you can see what it is. So it says hide the meat bottom bar. It doesn't hide this one; it hides the bottom one. So you just click on it, boom, they're all gone. All right, and then you get a new tip uh, tooltip. It says unhide it, and then and then you and then you unhide it. So Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. So it's really pretty fun, I think. Um, uh, sometimes just things work out really well. And, you know, like uh, great ideas, usually great ideas just start out with it like a, just a real you know, simple concept, you know, but it, simple just uh, it doesn't, doesn't, uh, it doesn't, isn't the right word for it. It's just a very clear, clean concept. And so, uh, you know, thank, thank you to Todd for that. Uh, and, you know, just sometimes things work out and I was able to get this thing to go uh, really, really quickly. So today is Saturday, like I said, on, on uh, December the 5th. I'll take a few more days to just to make sure that everything is working fine. And um, and then I'll uh, go ahead and upload it. So this will be on version 17.2. Currently, 17.0 is the uh, most recent version. And... Uh, well, what happened here? <laughs> what are we doing here? Okay, so currently 17.0 is the most recent version. And then um, when you, we'll get 17.2 up and running 
uh, 17.1 should come out on Monday or Tuesday, and then after that I can upload uh, 17.2. Um, that's about it. Uh, one thing I want to ask is if you, uh, ask, just a request, you know, help me out a little bit. Um, if you like the extension, it's only if you really like it, uh, just can you please do me a favor and, and go to the uh, Chrome store. And in the Chrome store, or you download it in the first place, there's a section called Review. And if you could just, uh, you know, write a nice little review for me that would be great uh, let me just show you what i'm talking about here so you can just say um, google meet uh, breakout rooms extension that should be mine yeah that's it right there and so what i'm talking about is is right here in the review in the review section uh, if you could just write something, um, you know, positive or whatever, uh, only if it's on your heart, you know, only if it's, you know, something that you really, you really feel and, and um, yeah, you believe in, then, then do it. I'm not asking you to do something that's, that, that's, uh, that, that you don't feel, okay, <laughs> that's not true. So if you, if you do like it and you do, it does help you out, maybe you could just write like a one sentence, uh, thank you, you know, something like that. Um, that would help me out uh, just with the the ratings and things like that. I don't make any money on this. I don't charge anything for it. You know, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, all your data is private. I don't do anything with your data at all. I don't even know what your data is. It's all stored on your browser. Uh, so I, I have no idea what that is. So uh, I'm just doing this because, you know, hey, I'm a teacher and I want to help people out. I needed it for myself and uh, I want to help other people too. So um, uh, the only, the only fee, the only, um, um, compensation I get is a non-monetary compensation, just sort of knowing that I'm helping people. And uh, one way I can see that is if, you know, I, I get a nice rating and things like that. That that does that actually does motivate me. So that's about it. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching.